Hey everyone, it's AJ's Diecast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking at 10 uh, Matchbox boats and uh, obviously one helicopter here. Um, and a little bonus thing that I'm not really sure about. Uh, obviously very vintage 90s and early 2000s Matchbox. Um, since I filmed that video of that Matchbox haul, just quickly showcasing everything, um, I'm going to try to kind of separate the videos into segments here and themes um but like obviously i just said this is boats mostly um but yeah let's get really just right into it here i'll start with this little bonus thing because I, I can't really put it in any other video i really don't know what to do with it i don't even know what the heck these are zero g from the 90s huge card it seems like such a Unnecessary waste of material, but from 94. I have no idea what these things are. So weird. These things are, oops, these things are really goofy. So let's just open this here. Take a quick look at this. Oof. That opened up quick. I don't know what the heck these are. The packaging just opened very easily. I don't know what's up with my camera here. I don't know if it's a haze over it or something. I don't know. Give me two seconds here. Um, let's wipe my camera off. That's a little better. There we go. So I don't know what the heck these things are. These things pull apart or something? Or I don't know. Zero G. I guess they got a social magnet there. Oh wow, these things are... They roll really good. I don't know what the heck these things are. I don't know. I've never seen these before. weird <laughs> I, it's not something i would normally collect but i mean this thing kind of spins around i don't know i don't know these things are kind of goofy obviously i didn't want to put these in a regular video but um yeah they're old they're all made of plastic they're kind of whatever weird looking things um let's start off the regular video i keep hitting that back part um this crocodile dundee crocodile hunter i actually have a couple of these um that i'll be showing in another video later on but we're sticking at this one here um i don't know what the name of this casting but it's clearly a helicopter um from 2002 so very old mangled card here but these things are tricky to find um this series from what i remember again not something i normally collect but i mean part of the collection so let's see here what do we got got a neat little card with it throw that away bring me that let's see here and you got this helicopter this is actually called just Rescue Chopper. I mean, it's fairly heavy. Uh, the green part on the bottom is plastic. Okay. Yeah. And the top, more brown part is metal. Um, lots of detail on it, though. Yeah, I mean, it's not, again, not something I collect, but... Uh, you like helicopters and you like Matchbox or any of the planes that they make. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't think that thing spins in the back, no. That one's alright. It's kind of whatever. Uh, ba -ba -ba, what can we open here? Let's just going with the least interesting here. We've got this little boat here, the Aqua Mission. Uh, 2000. 
Here's your top right date there. That 2000s card era. Probably one of my least favorite card arts I ever did. Um, that era was just super goofy. Uh, kind of a whatever boat. It's purple, obviously. Yeah, very nice purple, though. I'll give them that. Got wheels in the bottom. Yeah, it's a boat. <laughs> I gotta open them, so I mean, might as well film them, right? Glacier Racer. Honestly, the paint on this is phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie, that's really nice paint. I'd like to see that on more Matchbox, like regular cars. Wheels on it. I bet you you could try and make these things float if you really wanted to. Took them apart, take the wheels out or whatever. Be pretty neat. I mean, this thing's really heavy for what it is. The whole red part's all metal. There's that one. Uh, what else we got here? A little quad. Just says four wheeler. Oh, jeez, I am hitting everything. So this is one of the weird card arts. Uh, mid nineties. Kind of something I like. I like how simplistic this is. Very vibrant orange. Nineteen ninety eight. So this one's a later one. I only have one other one of this casting. Again, that's something I really. Normally collect no suspension. Got a little dude on there. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? This would be cool. Play value. Something interesting, right? Pretty neat. Yeah, it's whatever. Just throw that on the side there. What else do we got? Keep the helicopter up there. Um, we got this little. RV camper thing called the Auto Chalet. Chalet, whatever. Um, 1998 is the copyright date there. This thing's a neat little casting. I don't have any cars right now. The trailer hitches on them, do I? Do I? I do. It's just a little red beetle, but, um, Look at that. And then here we go with this. No suspension, of course. I mean, this is this is one of the better castings that they make for uh, for one of these. I don't know how many RV, whatever, camper um, toolings they make, but uh, this thing is pretty neat. How old is this? 1977, I think that says. I think I got something in my eye, so I can't really read. Um, this thing opens, should. And break it. There we go. So that's nice. All metal construction, metal base. So this thing is very, very heavy. Yeah, these things are very cool. Let's see how it hooks up here. So how does this even go? It just kind of sits in there all weird. I don't know. Maybe it can't hook up to these ones. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Clearly, that's not going to work. Um, but a neat tooling, nonetheless. Let's throw that off to the side. Uh, da, 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 da. We got a turbo ski, as it's called. The early 2000s, 2000 to be exact. Again, another weird and wacky tooling. But they put a lot of metal into these things, so. Yeah, it's whatever. When does this thing even come out? Does it even say? 98. 140th scale. Interesting. Weird. Um, also got this one's neat. Wave King. I like this one. 1998. This thing looks a lot more fragile, so I'll be a little more careful. Leave the dreaded elastics on here. I'll throw that out. 
and here we are. This thing, it's got such little wheels on it. That's kind of funny. Um, I think come off. It does. I'm not going to mess with it too much, um, but it did just slide off there. Uh, the, the jet ski is all metal construction, except for the seat. Um, trailer's all plastic. Um, where'd my Volkswagen go now? I should have repaired. I have this little notch on the bottom, which makes it not want to sit into the thing for some reason. But you get the gist. It looks pretty cool. I like these weird looking wheels though. Yeah, I like that. Um, next we'll look at the wave buggy. This thing's pretty cool. The older boat toolings were a lot better. I think. This weird little plastic figure thing. This thing is just crumbling in my hands because of all the uh, elastic they got on this thing. Let's throw all that crap out. So, do that. Here we have this boat. It's very plain. Uh, does this little guy come out? No. No. He's attached somehow. Yeah. 1998 is the copyright date on this boat. It's a pretty nice looking boat though. I mean, like I said, if you can find a way to make this thing float, I mean, these things look pretty cool all together. Something's all right. I think I've got two more here. Which one do I want to do? Let's do... Oh, well, they're both the same tooling. Rapids Raft in a dark blue. 1998 again. This awful elastic. There we go. A little movable part here. Okay, good, that just goes back on. <laughs> um, this just comes off, I assume. I don't want to break it. But I'm sure it does, because it was elastic. Oh, there you go. I'm not going to break it. Um, I'm sure that does come off. Uh, same wheels that are on that trailer in the back. That's pretty neat. The motor just kind of sits on there. And that one's all right. And the last one we're going to look at is the Rapids Raft again. For some reason, this one's upside down. From two thousand is the cover date. Well, that was barely on there. Somebody is bound to open that. Whether they wanted to or not. Yeah, this one just came off. So if you wanted to look at that for some reason. It's kind of like a lighter blue. It just kind of sits on this thing. There we go. I think it's on there. So there's that. So, um, kind of an interesting video here. I know not the most exciting cars, but I promise you there are more interesting stuff coming and tons of green light. Again, just haven't had the most time in the world. But that is pretty much it, guys. And yeah, I hope you, enjoy, hope you guys enjoyed watching.